From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Welcome to Local Point, sponsored by Ashley Regional Medical Center. Today's show is focused on the 2010 Ashley Valley Farmers Market. And here to tell us all about it is Diane Ackerman. Diane, this isn't your first time here. We've actually uh, visited before on Local Point about the farmer's market, but it's, right. uh, it's time again. Again. Right, again, it was summertime and, uh, and the, the, the crops are, uh, are starting to produce, right? Yes, and the farmer's market is uh, starting uh, this Saturday, the, the 3rd of uh, July, and it, we're going to go this year until September the 18th. Um, we're starting at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we go until noon every Saturday. So um, we're excited. I, I know I am. My garden's ready, and it did get a late start, but um, got lots of cool season crops, and so I'm pretty pleased. Well, let's talk a little bit about what the farmer's market is and how, how it started. Well, uh, in 2007, the Vernal Chamber of Commerce Conservation Committee um, was invited to pursue this and so they created a board and got to work and um, the other supporters at that time were um, the Vernal City and of course Uinta County which has graced us with the wonderful park that we utilize downtown between the library and uh, the old dinosaur museum. We have lots of shade um, and we have free music. Which is actually uh, in the the old dinosaur gardens where all the plants and dinosaurs used to be. I suppose. Right? Is that it? That was before my time. Yes, that's so. where it was. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's my time. <laughs> so yeah, and it's really nice and shady and um, and we, there's picnic tables and if you just want to come down and listen to the music, we have music pretty much every Saturday morning um, starting at about nine o'clock and um, I wanted to mention that also this year we have another um, a supporter and the Natural Resources Conservation Service is helping us to maybe, uh, I think they've helped us to write a grant to get some money for the future and um, this could prove very helpful. <laughs> and who, who are they? Well, I think they're the Department of Agriculture, affiliated with the Department of Agriculture, right. Natural Resources Conservation Service. So you're getting a little, a little uh, outside support, some people who say this is a good thing. We, we hope to see it continue. We've always had support, but it's expanding. This is a new supporter. It's expanding, yes, and, and we do appreciate all of the support that the community has uh, given us. Um, and I, I kind of would like to just give you some idea about what's down there, uh, Chris, and the public also. The vendors that we have are all of course the food and uh, we have some baked goods. Um, now when you say the food uh, I'm picturing a farmers market a place to go and buy uh, the food to bring home and prepare fresh, and fresh produce. Things that, came, that, that were grown here locally by, locally, by good people like you. Locally grown. But is, uh, there, is there also food to, to eat there? You know, we are looking I'll for... I'll put you on the spot there. We're <laughs> looking for new vendors, okay. and one of those vendors might be... Selling uh, food self right Self-serve food, okay. you know, food right there. We have had some in the past. We're looking for more, as, as we are looking for more of all kinds of right, vendors. Right. Um, again, you know, the, f the food and vegetables, the... Um, the pro th These are things that have been grown, uh, now you're selling them, but I, d I didn't mean mm -hmm. to interrupt you, just mm -hmm. for clarification. Mm -hmm. so. Food, yes, food, yes. Food. yes. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's beautiful. If you don't want to buy it or you don't want to eat it, if you're not a veg if you don't like vegetables, just come look at it, because to me, I love to look at vegetables. Is it just, it's just vegetables, or is there uh, well, fruit? Well, there, there is fruit, and we have our legendary apricots that always come, al come along, but this year, I'm, I'm thinking there probably is not going to be an apricot to be found because ah, of the cold. This, because this of the spring. way the, the, the Mother Nature mm -hmm. kind of handled the, the year. But what about things like flowers? Do you, would, you, mm -hmm. would you have uh, things like there fresh are, cut flowers? There are fresh cut flowers and also there are some fruit vendors that are coming bringing fruit up from Palisades supposedly this year. And I have been known to go to Palisades and bring peaches and pears back also. Um, so let me go on with what else we have besides the fruit. Right. We, have, we have homemade jewelry. <laughs> We have homemade birdhouses, decorative birdhouses. We have homemade soaps and lotions and art pieces. And we have free music. And I just can't stress that enough, Chris. There is so much uh, 
just fun down there because the music sets the stage pretty much and and and, I, and I've seen tables of people just sitting around and maybe munching on something a carrot or something but enjoying the music well, I can tell how much you love all of this and I want to talk a little bit more about it but we're going to take a quick break first when we come back you'll hear how the local farmers market provides many other benefits to our community we'll return after this word from Ashley Regional Medical Center Ashley Regional Medical Center is committed to bringing you the latest advances in technology right here in the basin. The radiology department at Ashley Regional, along with radiologist Dr. David Perry, now offers laser vein therapy. This new therapy can reduce unsightly varicose veins, help with leg pain, and even reduce restless leg syndrome, and requires a minimum amount of your time. Stop hiding your legs and call Ashley Regional today at 621-6465 for more information. Ashley Regional Medical Center. Welcome back. We're talking about the annual Ashley Valley Farmers Market. Our guest on today's show is Diane Ackerman. And Diane, before we left for the first segment, you were just starting to tell me about the music, the free, <laughs> wonderful music. Let's continue where we left off because I can tell this is very important to you. Yes, yeah, so because Farmers Market <laughs> is fun for me. I get to talk to a lot of people and share about gardening. But, you know, after a couple of hours, it's really nice to have something to kind of loosen loosen you up, and maybe if you wanted to dance a little bit around your Okay, now your let's, table. let's talk about this music. Are there <laughs> live musicians playing? Or there is it are. These are. These are people that last year, I guess, was the first year that they just came just about every Saturday, and um, it was at least uh, like two, four, four, five, maybe six people, and um, they just loved playing music together. Do they and, sing as well? Uh-huh. It's a, it's a, they just enjoy it. They it's, enjoy it's the bluegrass, the, uh, so it's a lot of you know right. guitar and stuff. But they enjoy it, and everybody else enjoys it. And um, is it uh, the same people every time? Would you like to give a little plug to these people, or do you know they them? Don't, I, just do, I do know them. Um, rogue they, musicians. They, they that don't slip have in. a name. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and then there are some. Uh, there were some other people there that, <clears throat> uh, for instance, there were two young ladies there that played violin that were just to die for. They would come quite regularly, and so are they. Are they laying out a little hat too? They, they are laying you know, out their little violin there? case. Of uh -huh. course they are. They, but uh, you know, so we invite anybody that would want to come down and, and make music. To, All right, now. To Let's go with that a little bit. We may have musicians if they want to. Would you like to uh, charge them a little fee to come down to the farmer's market, or can musicians just come and play? You know, I don't know the specifics on that. Um, so they'd have to call 789-2836. <laughs> Would the, is that you? Is that no, your number? No, that's not me. It's a number that they're going to get a machine, but they leave a message, and then someone will call them back All about right. their, their questions, about if they want to be a vendor or if they want to play music or... They just have questions, so. And I'm, I might be getting ahead of myself a little bit, but if someone wanted to uh, sell their their produce, uh, certainly you have a, a, a booth cost. Then is there, is there for that? Yes, um, I'm told it's eight dollars for um, farming for for vegetables and fruits and things, and it's ten dollars if you're like the soap and lotion lady or the jewelry lady. Um, so it's <laughs> is it all ladies? Uh, it is not. A man could be the jewelry lady then. A man could be a jewelry what? man. <laughs> and he could also be a birdhouse man. And when you, say, when you say, I am told, who who's telling you this? It's Diane? the board. The board's of the Ashley Valley Farmer's Market board. There's a board? Okay. Yeah. Are, yeah. You on, are you on the board? I'm not. I'm, I, I, I'm <laughs> I feel not. like a private investigator here today, Diane. I have helped you out are, this year. But you're here today, and you were here before because this is something you deeply love. It's and a part of your life. You love, you've love. you grown vegetables all your life. You can sell them. You love the music and the whole environment. And you want people to, to share in that. Oh, exactly. And, and uh, I have a vested interest, as you said, as a vendor there. And but I you're not sure what the vending cost is. Oh. But that's coming up. Oh, You'll be I paying the know. vending cost. I, I, I was told I, I, it's $8 or, okay. or 10 8 or 10 It is $8. All right. And, okay. and the reason I have I facilitated is because I paid up front for all uh, 12 weeks and I got a little cut in my, my charge ah, early on. So if you want to do the whole... Now, let's go there. So the, the, uh, the, the market then uh, opens, you said, July? The 3rd. 3rd. the first Saturday. All right, the first Saturday. And it, it will run uh, about two and a half months. 
through September the 18th. Through but, September but, the 18th. But you know, like we were, we've been meeting all winter planning for this, and um, we're invited to send in our 60 bucks or whatever right, it was. Right. And, and I just, I support. Well, the let's get the let's market. get the goods out here because we're really <laughs> close to wrapping up, and we want to make sure people know. Every Saturday from July 3rd through uh, mid-September, what time? We start at 8 o'clock in the morning and we go till noon this year. And if you are interested in vegetables, you should come early. The early bird gets the worm. <laughs> vegetables or worms or fruit <laughs> or maybe as uh, music and other crafts. And you've got all kinds of things going on. So uh, what we really like to, uh, to, to get out is that if you'd like to come and, and partake, here it is. But if you'd like to be a participant, a vendor, uh, you're looking for those people as well. That's correct. That's correct. Well, Diane, it's always good to have you here. I know that we didn't get even a, a smidgen of what you'd like out, but if you'd like to know more, why come on down to the Ashley Valley Farmers Market. Um, and that is every Saturday. Again, what time? 8 o'clock in the morning till noon. 8 o'clock until noon. Well, thank you, Diane, for coming. And thank you, And thank Chris. you for watching VTV.